Dragon separation confirmed. And we do have confirmation of Freedom, Crew Dragon Freedom, undocking at 10.05 a.m. Central over the Tasman Sea. And you're seeing a video of that separation on your screen right now. So Dragon has started to push itself away from the International Space Station. And with that, Peggy Whitson, John Schaffner, Ali Alkarni, and Rihanna Barnoui have completed their journey aboard the International Space Station. Again, confirmed separation at 10.05 a.m. Central Time. Dragon, SpaceX on the big loop, depart burn zero nominal. Peggy copies, and thank you for the hospitality. ISS. And we are hearing good confirmation of those oh, undocking so burns. We also heard some more. Enabled. And Axiom 2, it was a pleasure having you on board. We really appreciate all the hard work. Congratulations on an outstanding mission. Thank you for all your, uh, your great generosity. It was greatly appreciated. And I wish you calm seas and calm winds for your splashdown this evening. Take care. Fly safe. And Houston copies. And some kind words there between Axiom 2 Commander Peggy Whitson and Steve Bowen, who's on board the International Space Station monitoring today's undocking. Now, lit up against the International Space Station there, you just saw the flashes from the thrusters as those departure burns continue to take place. These short burns help increase the speed at which Dragon is flying away from the space station and start to send it on a trajectory up and over the International Space Station. And there you can see those thruster firings lighting up the, the Soyuz vehicle docked to the International Space Station. The next burn that we're tracking is the departure burn, which will help increase the initial opening rate between the Crew Dragon and the space station. This burn will last about 21 seconds. And this departure burn one is slated to begin just about two minutes from now. Following this burn, the crew will tar start to take off their spacesuits until it's time to deorbit. They do wear their launch and landing, launch and reentry spacesuits during the dynamic phases of flight. However, during this 12 hour journey to splashdown, they'll have the opportunity to take their spacesuits off and get comfortable. And then they'll put their spacesuits back on ahead of splashdown later this evening. Now one minute until the departure burn one begins. Again, this 21 second burn is going to help continue to propel freedom away from the International Space Station. And shortly after the departure burn occurs, freedom will exit the keep out sphere. 
the keep out sphere is an imaginary sphere which is 200 meters in radius around the International Space Station. And it's one of several safety zones that's set up to govern visiting spacecraft either arriving or departing the space station. Before moving into the keep out sphere, spacecraft have to be configured where they would not cross the imaginary boundary for at least four orbits, even if the spacecraft were to lose all of its maneuvering. Depart burn one underway. And you are seeing some of those thruster firings on board Dragon. Again, this burn is using the Draco thrusters. Dragon and SpaceX that burn did just complete loop. and all Departure went smoothly. Departure burn one nominal and all Dragon systems look healthy. Good on dock. At this time, you are go to doff suits in 4.012. And finally, a reminder that the big loop will be deactivated following Dragon's exit from the approach ellipsoid. Dragon copies Delta suit doff And with that call out of a successful departure burn one, the crew now has the go to get out of their spacesuits and get comfortable for the 12 hour journey until splashdown. Continuing to get some views. Continuing to get some views of Freedom as it backs away from the International Space Station. And we just got word that Dragon has exited Station the keep out the sphere. Again, that's imaginary sphere. sphere. It's that imaginary sphere, 200 meters in radius around the International Space Station. And on your screen here, as you continue to see Freedom back away, you're actually able to see those windows on the vehicle and can kind of make out the crew inside as they continue to get smaller and sma smaller, making their way back home. Dragon coffee. 